So there are some changes that are happening. So I got a job. So I had a conversation with my aunt the other night about my life. My plan was to go to college right out of high school, like this fall, fall of 2020. I've always dreamt of going to college. I've always dreamt of continuing my education. And I had it, I had my heart dead set on fall 2020. And I don't think that's gonna happen. So we were talking and I was really just listening to her, not really giving much feedback um, because I wanted to hear what she had to said, say. And she made a point. She said, you know, she wanted me to think about what was more important to me. college or things like top surgery and easing my dysphoria. She pointed out that she thought that by me gaining weight, I was trying to hide what my chest was. And I think looking back on it, most pretty much about 70% was that. I kept my weight because of that, but I hated my weight. Anyways, so she pointed out that um, I've been losing a lot of weight the past 10 months and that my chest is becoming more prominent because my stomach is becoming less, <laughs> less fat. And she's right. And finally losing the weight that I've wanted to for a few years and but my, my chest is more prominent and wearing binders is not exactly an option because I have asthma. It hurts a lot. Um, and it's uncomfortable. Wearing a binder is uncomfortable, point blank. So she, she told me to think. She, she told me to think about what I really wanted. She told me, she gave me a situation. Not to, not to answer about it, not to pick, but to think about it. And she said, would you rather go into college as you are right now, or would you rather go to college in a few years, a couple of years, having no chest, chest balls, um, and being pretty much always comfortable with who you are? Top surgery is about $5,000 straight out. That's just for the surgery, just for the anesthesia, whatever, for the hospital, stuff like that. It's not for housing during that time because it's down south. It's not for gas. It's not for food. It's not for any of that. On my GoFundMe, I'm raising $6,000 because the top, top surgery is 5000 but... There are also, I need, you know, medications that he might prescribe and, you know, there, there, I need gas and stuff like that to get down there. And also GoFundMe takes a little bit out of everything. So that, that's also that. Right now, the GoFundMe and all of everything is at $870. I need at least a 5000 to schedule and have it, but... The 500 helps me get down there, have a place to be while I'm down there. I need about 4,500 more, let's say, dollars before I can have surgery. That seems so fucking far away. But you know what? If I have to choose between paying for college and paying for surgery and help and getting help with paying for surgery as much as I hate hate to say it as much as I hate to do it I think that I need to work my ass off for the next year uh, I basically my entire life but especially within the next year and continue to try and fundraise um, 
and also save money. Um, my aunt made it a point to say that I always have a room here as long as I need it. Um, because my plan was like, all right, so till I go to college, that's fine. But complete shit happens, you know? And it hurts. Um, it hurts having to choose. Um, Cause pretty much a regular person, like a regular Joe. So a cis person, cis straight person, doesn't have to choose between having this major body altering surgery and, or college. I think I'm choosing comfort and loving myself and all of that over learning. You know, if I save 100 to $200 every two weeks of my paycheck for about 11 months, 10 to 11 months, I can pay for surgery by that. I would love to have surgery by the end of 2020 so I can start college next year. But the odds of that happening are very, very slim to none. This is a very hard decision for me. And it may seem very small, very, 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 very tiny. For you guys. For me, this was a huge decision. This was a huge conversation. This has kept me up at night wondering what the fuck am I gonna do? What the hell am I going to do? Do I want to be comfortable in my skin during my college experience and make my college experience the most positive that I can? Or do I want to sort of hate my body and be miserable pretty much all of the time and be afraid to use the bathroom and shower and all that. In the end, I think I'm choosing my own happiness and my own safety and my own body. Surgery is going to save my life. And I really, really want to have surgery by the end of this year, but I don't think that's gonna happen without help. I need your help. Now with me saving every paycheck and between me saving every paycheck and your donations, I can get to my top surgery goal by the end of the year. But I need your help. You can always, 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 always please share my GoFundMe link. Please share the link because the more people know about it, the better. The more people that can donate, the better. Every person, I had somebody donate $180. $180, the biggest donation that I've had. $180. I don't even know this person. I don't personally know this person, but their their comment as to why they donated was they wanted to be bigger, some bigger. They wanted to be a part of something bigger than themselves. Now, if you feel the same way, please donate. Like I said, between college and my own happiness with my transition, I am choosing top surgery. I'm choosing my life over college right now so i will leave it at that um so thank you guys um it doesn't matter when you go to college it doesn't matter if you go to college as long as you follow your dream and that's exactly what i'm gonna do all right peace love and happiness stay true stay you. bye guys